Hey guys, it's me, Sydney Marie, and welcome back to another video of me trying to teach you how to bake something. Today, we will be making flan, and if you're new to this channel, welcome. So the first thing you're gonna need is sugar, and next you will need eggs. Let me just model this for you, like the fancy, bougie thing I am. Just kidding. And then you're gonna need vanilla. Everybody loves vanilla, right? Yeah. I think vanilla goes in everything. And then we're gonna need some sweetened condensed milk and another can of evaporated milk. So just one can of each is all you need and you're good to go. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is break up the eggs. You wanna crack all the six eggs into a bowl and then you're gonna whisk them like it's nobody's business. Have you ever seen those people that can crack eggs with one hand? I'm not even sure how they do that. I feel like I could maybe do that at some point in my life if like my hands grew, but my little baby hands, I feel like it's, I don't know. Maybe I'll try it one time. But anyways, yeah, eggs in a bowl, whisk it. After you've whisked it within an inch of its life, you're gonna add in the uh, evaporated milk. Now you can do it one of two ways. You can do the evaporated milk first, or you can do the uh, sweetened condensed milk. I like to do the evaporated milk first because it's more liquidy, so it's easier to mix in. The sweetened condensed milk is more of a syrup desserty thing. It's almost like a melted thick ice cream. So it doesn't go in as smooth, I don't think. So I like to put it in last little by little and mix it up and break it apart. That way it all gets frothed in together. I think froth is the word of the day today. After it's all ready and mixed, cause yeah, you're gonna add in some vanilla. You're gonna wanna add in about a tablespoon of vanilla. You can also do something like almond extract or something bougie if that's what you're feeling. But vanilla is, you know, for us basic bitches that really just wanna make a normal person flan. After you've got that all ready, you, you're gonna wanna start on the topping. And what you're gonna do is just take a pot and put it on a medium heat on the stove and dump in your sugar. And then you're gonna caramelize the sugar. Now, this is not making caramel. This is literally just melting down sugar to a caramel color. If you try to eat this as caramel, it's gonna be like a hard sugar glass. It's not bad, it's just, you know, not caramel. It does take a while for all the sugar to be broken down and liquefied on the heat, but don't you worry, it is worth it. Just keep stirring and keep it going. Just keep stirring, just keep stirring, just keep stirring, stirring, stirring. Look at now, it's caramel colored. Anyways, so now you're gonna take this caramel and put it into your whatever you're using for your flan, I guess. So I'm using these lovely little silicone muffin tins because they're easy and they make little awesome flans. That way, if you eat one, you know, you don't feel as bad as if you're like eating a whole flan. I don't know. But yeah, you can use this. You can use the little ceramic bowls and uh, glass bowls, it's, it's whatever, whatever you want for your flan. After you've got that sugar topping done and coated on the little bottom of the tins or whatever you're using, you're gonna wanna pour in the flan batter on top. Fill it up like you're filling up cupcakes. You don't want it to overflow, but it's not really gonna grow so you can get a little bit closer. Now the reason I have these set in a dish and not in a muffin baking tin thingamabobber is because after you have them filled up, you want to cover each one with tin foil to keep all of that warm steamy goodness inside. And then you want to pour water into the baking dish 
surrounding the bottom, just only about an inch. That way when it bakes, it doesn't get all burnt on the bottom and the sugar stays caramely and good. Baking is a science and sometimes I wish I had like a PhD in chemistry or something and maybe that would help me in baking, I don't know. Or maybe I should have gone to culinary school, but I really didn't want to work in a kitchen or like own a bakery when I was younger. I was just like, yeah, I just want to bake cookies for people. And somehow I'm here making videos for you guys, but this just kind of proves that anyone can bake and it never has to be pretty. I like making delicious food and that's all that really matters and sweets are even better. Now this is the part where you wrap all your little individual flan deliciousness in tin foil. As you can see, I did do a glass bowl as well just to show you the difference. And there really isn't a difference in the baking, it's more so a difference in the way you take it out. But you're gonna set it in your baking dish and then you're gonna add an inch of warm water into it. So you're gonna wanna put this in the oven for 50 minutes at 350 degrees. For the smaller little baby flans, you can do about 35 to 40 minutes and then just take it out and check it. And if it needs a little bit longer, just do it in three minute increments. For the big flan, do about a five minute increment if it doesn't come out clean. That one didn't come out too clean. It's still good, like the knife is clean, but it's, it's not perfect. After you've got them out of the oven, you wanna set them in the fridge for about four hours so that they can chill and cool and it'll make them easier to slide out. So now that your flan is out and ready to go, this is how you take out the silicone molds. You just wanna press onto the sides and push it down away from the top, just very ever so gently. And then you're gonna be able to flip it over and tap it and push on the actual bottom of it to be able to pop it right out and it should come out clean. When you do it with the bigger flans in the ramekin or glass bowls, you're gonna wanna take your knife and go around the sides to loosen it up and then you can flip it over and it should come out. I always thought flan was like super hard and fancy until I made it. And so I hope you guys like this video and try making the flan yourself. If you liked this hot mess of a video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. I will be releasing a new video every week. Love you guys.